Oh, that looks good. Oh, there he is. Woo! I think that's the one we were after. <laughs> Look at that. All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. We got the kayak loaded up on the Forerunner, and it is like just starting to get light in the sky. It's a little after 5.30, and we're hopping in the runner, and the primary goal is to try and get some pompano, and I'm actually gonna head out and fish with my buddy Raphael, and we're both gonna go out in the kayaks and see if we can find a bite. Uh, we'll also probably have a shot of catching some snook or Jack Creval. And uh, the last time I fished with Raphael was on his boat when we went offshore. And some of you guys may have seen that video. If you didn't, I will link it somewhere on the screen. And we both agreed uh, upon meeting at the ramp today at 8 a.m. And it only takes like 40 minutes or so, maybe 50 minutes, depending on how many traffic lights I catch uh, to get up to the, the area where, where we're going to launch. Uh, and I, I kind of want to surprise him because I was late the last time we fished together So I want to be like already on the spot out there in the kayak fishing by the time he gets there So he's gonna call me and be like yo, bro, like where are you at? And I'm gonna be like dude. I'm already out here catching fish. <laughs> I'm on the water So yeah, that's that's kind of the goal. So stay tuned. I will see you guys out there on the water. All right, we made it out. I'm gonna start off by tossing around this uh, Mega Bass Spook. And it's a little after seven right now. So we got like 50 minutes or so to try and catch a couple fish before Raphael gets here. Let's see if we can get some bites with the Spook. We have uh, the end of the outgoing tide right now. So, we've got a lot of nice current blowing by some of these jetties. <clears throat> oh, perfect cast. Oh, there's a bunch of bait right there. Looks like mullet. And that's what I'm trying to imitate right now, is like a five inch or so mullet. An injured mullet, to be exact. Let's try taking a quick drop with this little swim bait. Ooh, marking a bunch of fish right here. There's gotta be a snook here. There's a good fish. I don't know what I don't know what this is. It's either a snook or a Jack Creval. No, no, it's an, it's actually probably a grouper. I just felt him going to the rocks. And there it goes. I should have lightened up on him. But I, I really wasn't sure exactly if it was if he was in the bottom until I got a little closer to him, and but by that point it was too late. Yeah. Dang it. All right, let's bust out another little Z-Man swim bait. I got a couple in here already rigged. 
and I always carry some super glue with me because these little three inch paddle tails like to slip down off the jig head, but with a little super glue that uh, fixes it up and keeps it in place. I'm gonna take out one of these other bodies because this was the color that just got that last bite. We're gonna try this color because it's already rigged, but I'm gonna rig this one up on another jig head and let it dry. So these swim baits are kind of a pain to rig, even with the assistance of super glue. Even before I put the glue on, I, I have to pull it up as far as I can get it to the position where I want it, right there. And then I pull it off. And this is uh, super glue gel, so it doesn't drip as much as normal super glue. And then I just put a little bit on it at the base of the jig head. And then I push it back on. And once it dries, it'll be pretty tough for quite a few fish. All right, and now I'm tying this jig on with just a improved clinch knot. Trim the tag end, load it up with some Dr. Juice. By the way, click the link in the description if you wanna get a free bottle of this from Salt Strong. Now let's get back after it. There's a fish. That might be another grouper. Or it's a jack, maybe. No, there he is. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Let's see if he has a, another swim bait in his mouth. No. This is just probably his little brother. This guy almost swallowed it. That's what that Dr. Juice does to these fish. It makes them really want to eat it. Let's just get a quick measure on her because I got the tape right here. Although the season is closed, this fish is just a little over 16 inches. Not bad. And by the way, the setup that I'm using right now is the seven foot dark matter psychedelic green rod that is medium heavy power, fast action, and I have it paired with this Daiwa Ballistic MQLT 4000 D-C. Hey, so the question that never, is never forgotten, how late are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, did you hear that? Um, Rafael just, sent me an audio asking about how late I am. Oh man, he's gonna be surprised. He might see my truck and question if it's mine, but like I don't have any like stickers on it or anything. And I tried to put away like any fishaholic related stuff like under the seat. So I don't think he'll be able to notice anything. There's the phone call. <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? Dude, you left me behind? I'm already out here, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't believe you did that, man. That's so messed up. 
I wanted to surprise you. I, I actually wasn't. Go I was gonna not. I, I, if you didn't notice my truck, I was. I was not gonna tell you I was out here. I just. I was gonna be like, oh man, I'm late. Like you go out there without me. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me launch my kayak, I'll find you. Alright, All right. and then I, I got a 16 inch uh, black grouper. Alright, stay around here so I can find you, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait until you find me and then we'll go for the, right. the pompano. Alright? Alright, alright, bye. Bye. <laughs> I got him. He's a little bummed though, I didn't tell him I was coming earlier, but I, f I feel like if we, if like, I scheduled earlier with Raphael to, to come here, I probably would have been late then. <laughs> that was kind of why I did, did it also. Oh man, that's just like my, th I don't know, I, I, I'm really bad with time management. Oh, look at all that bait. If I had to cast that, man, I could load it up. I'm surprised there's not more fish in these little coves trying to eat it all. Whoa, I, d I just had something nice swirl at this right, at, right after I took it out of the water, go figure. There he is. Whew. You trying to catch me? I'm trying to hit this point before you uh, spook the fish. <laughs> did you try fishing it all yet or no? Yeah, I did catch a couple jacks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Just to take that anger out of me, you know? <laughs> you know that anger that you created on me? Ah, uh, come on. I'm surprised you recognized my truck without, like, dude, the I kayak recognize on it. Your truck, dude. What? I recognize your truck, man. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I was going to go back that way one more time right because um, okay. I wanted to hit that spot where I got the two grouper, where I had the two grouppers, uh, groupers on. Oh, dude. It's okay. It's just. Let me try and get my. Uh, there you go. Oh, okay. You're good. All right, let's hit that. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Back to dropping the swim bait. We're gonna try along here for like 10 more minutes. There's another fish. <laughs> Look at that. That's a little gag grouper. Sweet. Look how lightly colored he is. There's another fish. Oh, look at that. I believe this is a dog snapper. Pretty cool. Let's see if he's a keeper. I always forget what size dog snappers have to be to keep. So the bag limit is 10 and the minimum size is 12 inches to keep. This guy might make 12. Nope, he's just a little over 10. He's gotta go back. But you know, since we got that snapper, I'm gonna try putting on a better lure for getting snappers. Something like this little Novat Mad Vibe lure. There he is. All right, we got a little mangrove. First drop too, so we're on the right track. Mangroves only have to be 10 inches to keep. Oh God, no, don't, I don't want to hit him. That was close. If I hit him, that manatee, he probably would have freaked out and that would not have been good. That was a big one too. Another snapper. Oh, I like that. Quick release. Huh. 
there was a good fish but he pulled me in the bottom and then he got off and he straightened the hooks that was probably another grouper that another snapper but this is a little lane snapper pretty but too small to keep there he is oh and look at that a little mutton snapper All right, let's go. Let's head to the Pompano spot. You Pompano time. Yeah, you ready? Let's go, man. All right, hopefully we can uh, catch quite a few of them, have some fun. Most importantly, there's a plane. And two, uh, get a couple to throw in the cooler on ice. And other than Pompano, we could also find possibly some permit, which would be cool. Redfish, trout, snook, jack craval. So this could be a fun uh, little excursion. It let's go make be. it happen. It will be, man. Woo! Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna hit some of these docks right here going around this point. You, you got a bite? Yeah, so, got him. Oh, finally got him. Whoa, look at all of them. Is it, what is it? It could be a blue, bluefish jacks. or jacks. jacks. Oh, it's jacks? <laughs> Let's just catch, catch a quick jack real quick. We're marking them pretty thick right here. Oh, I just had one on right. <laughs> oh, they're hitting it like crazy. Don't tell me you're throwing the 12 pounder. <laughs> There he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many little micro jacks here. Woo! The pompano that we want to catch are going to be about this size to be keepers. Oh, check that out. There's Snook cruising right along the beach there, feeding. Ah, he didn't hit it though. That was really cool to see. Let me drop my shallow water anchor before I spook anything here. Oh, perfect cast under that dock there. There he is. Oh, he came off. Razor sharp hook. Fish on. That's a little bit better size, Jack. I'll take it. Nice. Oh, and the hook just popped out. Perfect. See ya. Oh, there's a little snook. Got one to eat. Micro snook. Oh, still feisty. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna hop out of the kayak real quick because it's shallow enough. And I'm gonna try and just wet wade out a little bit further without having to move uh, my kayak from the shallow water anchor. Oh, you got a pompano. How many, one? Nice. Was it a keeper pompano? 
Oh, nice. 17 inches, wow, nice. So it's good to, to, that they're here then, you know? Oh, perfect cast right in there. That has to yield another fish. There he is. Got him. Woo! That was a weird jump. <laughs> he just came up and kind of laid there like a piece of wood. There we go. A little bit more of a respectable snook. And oh my God, look at how deep it is. He literally almost swallowed this. I'm gonna have to start carrying longer pliers with me. See ya. There's another one. Woo! <laughs> this one's ripping line. Oh my God. Phew! We got a drag screamer here. Oh, another jack, but this one just pulled way harder than that last bigger one I pulled out of this dock. This guy almost swallowed the shrimp too. Got it. See ya. All right, Raphael just told me he got a 20 inch pompano. So the tide I can see also is starting to come in. So we gotta get out there and get on this pompano bite now. Hopefully they'll cooperate for us. that rod there and I'm gonna bust out this light spinning rod which is the fish strong slot machine rod paired with this 4000 Daiwa Procyon and I have 10 pound braid on here and a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and an even smaller little voodoo shrimp so this should be enough to get on some pompano You got two pompano, the 17 and the 20? Nice. That's really that's pretty cool to get one that size. Where you are you measuring the tip of the tail or the fork of the tail? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably like four inches. Oh there he is. Fish on. Hardhead catfish. <laughs> It's a thick one. He's jumping. Not what we hoped for, but it is what it is. You gotta contend with all the fish that like to eat a little shrimp to get the ones that you want. So Raphael got a nice size croaker and croaker are really good eating. So I'm gonna take it and bring it home. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Yeah, that's a good size one. They're really good eating. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Yeah. I think last year I got them here too yeah. with the pompano. You got one? Yep. Whoa. Oh, I just missed one. Oh. I got him that time. Uh, it might be a Jack Creval though. 
Uh, I got a small jack curveball. Did you see it yet? Yeah, I saw a black fan on top. Okay. I'm gonna take it close to you so you can help me. All right. Raphael got, has a, a nice fish on. He thinks it's a permit. This guy is ripping. Wow, how did I get so frayed up? It's a Jack Traval, I think. That's why it's kind of big, right? It's not a, oh my god! Oh, almost snapped my rod. I shouldn't have come that close. Cool. Pull him up right here. Go, go, go. I got him. Nice. Is that a nice jack or what? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it for a second. That's that's a pretty big uh, pompano. Just a pompano. Right? Yeah, that's a good pompano. Nah. You mind if I keep him? Of course not. All right, I'll I'll throw him in the box. That's why I'm coming here to you. All right, that's a good it's, one. Uh, I fish. I, you know I fish like I food. This is I fish. Fish delivered to your kayak step. <laughs> <laughs> that works. I, I like it. Pretty well. There you go. Well, no, I popped it out of the roof of his mouth and then it went into his gills. Oh. And then, yeah. All right, sweet. All right. Nice yeah. pompano. Let's get some more. Let's see how big it is. Oh, you want me to measure them? Yeah, All right. Because the ones I got before were like, kind of like a little bigger than that. Did you see that this one on live scope or no? I saw it, yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It was a single fish. I was like, I'm just going to take that. Uh, yeah, I've been casting like at two, three, four fish before. Four fish before, but it wasn't... It, it I don't like the deep. sound of that. That, that, may, that means it's going to be more difficult for yeah, me. It wasn't for me. And then I took the cast at one and boom. All right. This guy is 15 inches 15? to the fork. And what's the total length? Yeah. The total, to length. The total length. Yeah. All right, so the other one that I got was bigger. It hit 50 on the centimeter side. Oh, uh, okay. It was a 20 to the four, to the uh, tail. Okay, yeah. So, so this is 18. It was kind of yellowish, right? There was a whole bunch of them that like hit my lure, so I thought the same. Pot of bangs. I'm all covered in blood now. We got fish in the box. Hmm. All right, let's try another color change. I have these white ones with a chartreuse tail. Let's try this color. The water's getting actually a little more murky uh, as uh, this wind starts to crank up now around midday. Good. Oh, there he is. Woo! I think that's the one we were after. <laughs> Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. This might be that Pompano, or could it be a permit? You know, we won't know until we see it. Raphael and I, and I were getting a little worried because we were seeing them jumping around us, but we couldn't get a bite. So it's cool that finally I got this one to eat. If I could take a guess, I'd say catfish. <laughs> I saw him. No, it's a, it's a permit. It's a permit. That's what I'm talking about! Woo! <laughs> nice. Yeah! Woo! Indian River Permit, baby! <laughs> Look at that, it's so cool. I love these fish. And catching them on such light tackle is just so fun. Woo! All right, look guys, let's pop this little voodoo out and get this beautiful fish back. I'm actually like happier I got the permit than a pompano right now. Those are definitely like fewer, um, like less of them around, few and far between. 
All right, let's keep it going. I am so pumped. That was epic. Now, we, now if we just get five more pompano to make that a limit, we'll be heading on back to the dock. Okay. Peace out. I'm gonna, you know, start working my way back too. <laughs> so Raphael is heading out because he's got uh, some stuff to do with his church. I'm gonna stick it out a little longer. There he is. Oh, no way. I snagged the sheep's head. <laughs> Woo! That'll keep. That's a good eating. Let me actually just check real quick, though, because it used to be 10 inches a keeper sheep's head, but now it's 12. And this guy is 13. So he's coming home. All right, that was a lucky catch. Especially being that I'm not even like fishing by any structure, like that sheep's head just so happened to be swimming by and my little voodoo, you know, probably hopped right in front of him and he probably went to eat it, but then I dropped it and then pulled up and just snagged him in the belly. Whoa, a ladyfish. I don't want one of these guys. They could just cut the voodoo shrimp off because I only have because I only have 12 pound fluoro. Got him. Oh my god. The pompano are jumping right behind me as I'm messing with this ladyfish. Oh, getting hit. There he is. Could that be a pompano? It might be a small one. Whoa, 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 there he goes. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Found a small pompano. Right after the sheep's head. This one just might make keeper size. Pretty cool. He just has to be 11 inches to the fork to throw in the box. Oh yeah, 12 inches to the fork. We're good. Yo, what's up? Yo, real quick. Dude, I'm calling you because I am so pissed, dude. What can happened? You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What happened? I have Listen. Right now, it's 3.40, right? When I was on the water, my fish finder had the old time on it. So that's why I left so early, because I was like, wait a minute, I left at 3.30, and now it's 3.40? Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Dude, I, I just wasted at least an hour and a half of fishing. That yeah, you you just didn't want to fish with me anymore. I understand. You don't have to come up with excuses. Come on, man. <laughs> awesome. I was having a great time, man. All right, I'll, I'll catch you later. So drive right. safe. Bye. Oh, that might be another pompano. Oh yeah, that's got to be another pompano. What is that? Oh, no way, a Spanish mackerel? What? I'm 
I'm catching so many different species of fish today. It's crazy. Oh, and that one almost got away. <laughs> I think I still have them on here. Oh, they just jumped right there behind me. Oh, fish on. This might be another pompano. It's got the weight. Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh, he's jumping. <laughs> Sweet. Got him. All right, this one will definitely keep. And look at that, he basically like swallowed that little voodoo shrimp. All right, that is it. We are heading back to the launch. And although we did not get a Pompano limit today, I still had an awesome time out here. And it was so fun catching all the different species that we caught today, all on light tackle. And I would say the highlight for me for the day was probably that black grouper that we got early on. And then that permit, so that fish just ripped some awesome drag with the light tackle and I'm on cloud nine right now. I'm so happy. And, and although we did not get six keeper pompano in the box, at least we got three. A uh, huge shout out to Rafael for the one. And then we got the croaker, the sheep's head, and the Spanish mackerel. So we still got six fish in the box that all taste delicious. So I can't wait to go home, dice them up, and cook them up tonight for dinner, tomorrow for lunch, and probably the next couple nights as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button below, and hit that little bell notification button. And uh, that just basically gonna t is going to tell you when uh, I post future uploads. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live the fish, fish to live.